so with contact lenses in and clean dry skin i start using spirit gum on my ears um, and that's to use some latex ears i've used before they're very lightweight and i know i can get away with just using spirit gum for this if i wanted to use wear them for a longer period of time i'd definitely go in with a pos aid instead so just positioning them i know my hair is also going to be in the way of the ears so i'm not too worried about the edges on these today they could be a little bit fiddly i always get one imperfect and the other one's a bit fiddly but yeah when i did my hair put some horns on and so then now i'm going in with prosade with my um piece already waiting with the prosade on so when it's ready and sticky and tacky i can press into place now I have applied one of these pieces before, so I kind of know how it works and kind of where to position it and shape it. So today I was being quite lazy, it was quite late, so I didn't plan to go around the edges that much today. So you will see edges at the end of this video, I'm sorry. Um, going in with these latex pieces I brought online from eBay, actually the edges were quite thin, they were quite good. Um, and really lightweight again, and I think it just took this look to a next level. So going in with Cryolins, I think, grease paint so the super colors the grease paint version um and i actually mixed a brown a white and a yellow in to get this kind of nuggety beige color and i'm just using a sponge and just pressing it in all over where i feel i need it leaving some areas for kind of contour lighter shades So yeah, the edges, I didn't do much attention to this time. I'm sorry because it was quite late and I was just, I just took it straight off. So just saving product and saving my skin. But refer to other videos if you need to see me how to make the edges better on latex pieces. So yeah, just going in with uh, a lot of white added to that base colour, kind of creating that off-white nuggety shade just to give a bit of contrast and definition to the face. You can see it really shaped my face instantly. And just going over a bit of black where that nugget colour here and it was bothering me on the horns and also coloured in the horns to match the ones on my head. And then the ears and went over those with the nuggets as well. And then added a bit of white cream just to give it a little bit of a kind of more contour. And then now I'm going over with powder because this is such a thick cream. It needs a thick set of powder. So I really press it in before I buff it away. And this makes it really long wearing and waterproof. So now just over a gold shimmery product. Um, get that name of that one. So this is by Grimace and it's just a colour powder. And these are excellent. I've got number seven in the white one, but I don't want number this gold one is, sorry, because it's faded. Um, I've had it quite a while and I absolutely love it. I'm going in now with the Makeup Forever palette where it's got numerous creams on it and that using the white, the black and the brown, bringing the eyes to life and a buffing brush now. I think this is just a cheap one. I don't mind this kind of getting ruined with such heavy cream products. And then bringing it down in some contour areas. Now I just want to shape my lips. I wanted them quite cutesy and pouty. Just trying to do some trickery with the eye, um, yeah, eyeliner. And then I had a gold shimmer as well. So I wanted that eye area to pop out a bit more. So I had a bit of black to blend out. And into the eyes as well. So then now going into the airbrush, which is my favourite part, and it already is bringing it together. Just darkening the outer edges, kind of contouring the hair, into the hairline. And they're starting to bring out contour areas. Don't want the makeup to look too flat. Oh, I wish I had cheekbones like this. So I'm just going around the edge of the horns to make them look like they're sticking out a bit more. And then starting to chisel out the jaw and oh, please give me a jaw like that forever. And then just bringing it down the neck and in random places. I was having a bit of a nightmare with my gun actually, it wasn't playing, it was spitting out a lot. 
Um, but this is a mist air black paint, by the way, uh, with a bit of water because it's starting to go a bit thick because of COVID. It's all not hardly being used. So I had to add some water and then it got quite runny. So using a stencil and I used black on my head, I believe. Yep. Going in with black, same mist air. And then soon um, on my chest, I'll just go in with the gold mist air. Kind of bringing out some patterns. Giving it a bit of definition and a bit of life. Here I'm doing some like age spots kind of thing, random textures. Some freckling. Didn't want too flawless skin. So there we are, I'm going with the gold and the patterns, even though technically I had those patterns in tattoos anyway, should have just left them on. But now I just wanted to bring in some pattern on the chest so it's not just literally a contour. And the gold was struggling to get out of the airbrush as well. I was having a bit of a bad airbrush day. Sometimes it happens. And then just going in with kind of an animal texture, reptile one. Just to add a bit more depth and definition. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then over the horns as well and the ears. Trying to bring all the colours and the tones together as cohesive, neat as possible makeup. So what these stick on finger things from my local post office and I tried to do that so they would match the makeup look as well. I thought it'd be quite fun. And there you are, I stuck in some teeth as well that are also from the post office, just some cheap teeth. The contact lenses are from Mesmerize. So I took the teeth out and I put in some of my favourite stuff for the mouth, the mouth effects. I just love playing with that stuff. And it took it to the next kind of Halloween level, the Halloween vibe. But this look was so cute, like I literally didn't want to take it off. I'm just spraying it with water to help it drip a little bit naturally. And there you have it. I hope you like this look. The forehead piece uh, for the forehead look is what I've made and I do sell online, just in case you're wondering. Hope you like it.